Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, I'm so sorry that I had this issue with my camera and then I had to restart my computer and, and I had to reset the password, but I needed help because I cannot do it on my own. So here we are. <laughs> How are you, everybody? Nice. Ready to start? Nice, anyway? thank you. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's see who is here. We have Danny, we have Lady, Gilberto. You don't have your camera on, Gilberto, today. Rodrigo. Andres is a listener. Roberto Carlos. There you are, Gilberto. <laughs> <laughs> your camera is always on, so I was surprised I didn't see it on. Yes. Okay, Julio. Hello, Rebecca. Rolando, are you a listener? Israel, Leticia, Mauricio, Gabriela, Sofía. Okay, great. Okay, well, let's get started. Actually, I was planning to start with um, a little review from what we did last week. And I have a pop quiz for you, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to be, okay, Rebecca, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be um, calling people out and I'm going to give you a, a phrase, okay? Just let me check if this is recording. Oh, yes. Um, so I'm going to call out a name and then I'm going to give you a word, okay? So I need you to do your best in order to describe the word and also to use that word in a sentence, okay? So let's see. Um, okay, give me one second because everything I had open I had to close it when I restarted the computer, but here we go. Okay, so let's start with Okay, so this is a a question related to um okay, related to quantifiers. So I'm going to be asking, let's see, Sofia, Sofia Crespo. Okay, Sofia. Hello, I, teacher. Hello. Um okay, so can you please tell us? Um, how we use the expression a little, a little. Let's write a it. A little mm -hmm. is used when I'm going to talk about the um, countable. Okay, could you use it in a sentence, please? Okay, I'm a little busy all day. Okay, mm -hmm. that counts. Very good. Okay, let's clap for Sophia. Great. Well done. Now, Sophia, can you please give me a letter? Any letter? Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Danny. Letter is L. L. Okay, so let's see whose name. Star oh, okay, we have Lady. <laughs> Lady's name starts with L. So, Lady, it's your turn. Okay. 
In this case, we're going to check um, some other vocabulary. Let's see. Uh, lady, could you please explain uh, what you understand by obsolescence? Obsolescence. I'm going to write it here in the chat. Obsolescence. Mm, it's obsolescence. The same at old. It's a sign of old. 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 Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, that something is old. Aha. Uh -huh. And how would you put this word into a sentence? Mm. The song is old. But the song, the song is old. Uh, but in this case, you're using the word old. I need you to use the word obsolescence. Ah. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Um, okay. The story is of solutions. The story is of solutions. Mm, in this case, lady, uh, mm -hmm. the word obsolescence is a noun. So it's like the, um, let's say the state of being old. Uh, in this, in your example, you could change it by the adjective, which is like the store is obsolete, obsolete. That is the adjective. Um, in this case, we could say um, obsolescence. For example, obsolescence is um the the idea that something is old you are like describing the word right um okay i think you got the idea we just need to put it into a sentence uh, using the 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 word right okay but let's clap for lady nice try okay Good. Give me another letter, lady. We're going to ask one more question for your classmates. What letter do you choose, lady? M. M. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see whose name starts with M. We have two people. So we're going to ask the two people. We're going to start with Maria Leticia. Okay, are you ready, Maria Leticia? Or you are a listener today? I see you have the word listener, but I don't know if this was from last class. Maria is listener. Ah, okay, okay. Sí, es que preguntaba porque si, sí. no sé si se le quedó de la clase pasada o lo puso ahora. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mauricio, it's your turn then. Okay, um, let's see. How would you define the term demand downturn, Mauricio? Demand downturn. I'm gonna write it here in the chat, demand downturn. Okay, thank you, Maria Leticia. Mauricio, are you there? Okay, I guess Mauricio is not ready. Um, well, let's ask somebody else with letter M, but in their last name. I see, for example, Jose Israel. Could you help us, Jose Israel? Yes, teacher. Okay, how would you define demand downturn, Israel? Demand downturn. Mm -hmm. If like in the in the previous class you said about decline, it's something like decline 
when a product goes down with the sales. Excellent. Yes, that's right. So how would you put that into a sentence, Israel? Oh, well, for example, um, let me see. Uh, many clients of tortillas, of churrito Diana, are downturn by will and will rather boquitas bocadeli. Would rather buy bocadeli. Okay. Or would rather buy bocadeli. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would change it a little bit just so the word or the phrase fits into the sentence. So probably we can say with your example, with your idea, we can say um, there is a demand or there is a big demand downturn for Boquitas Diana because people would rather buy Boquitas Bocadeli, something like that. So we're saying that there is a demand downturn for Boquita Diana, right? So it's like uh, the to say the words you used, um, there is a demand decline, right? So it's a synonym. Okay, well, thank you. Let's clap for Israel, everybody. Clap, clap, clap. Okay, thank you. Now, well, this is only a, a little refresh from last class and well, not last class, like last week we checked several several of these uh, phrases, right? Um, and let me share my screen. Oh, be before we do that, I'm going to pass the attendance just to make sure everybody's here or if we have people absent. Let me see here. Okay, give me one second while I open the my corresponding list. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let me check attendance and then we're going to continue with something else that Actually, we started last Friday, but we didn't finish. Remember, there was a, a group um, activity that only one group participated. So I'm just going to uh, pass the attendance and we will do that. We will refresh a little bit about that as well. So let's see, Danny, Anthony, Siwensa Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Eh, Jose Andres Martinez Perez. He's a listener today. Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, María Leticia Relegeño González. She's a listener. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Mauricio. Well, I don't know if he has issues with his speaker, but or if he's a listener, I don't know. I didn't get any notification. Um, let's see, Rebecca Maria Cardona. I think she's a listener too. Yes. Um, Rolando Danilo Sanchez Arteaga. Where are you, Rolando? Okay, you are a listener as well. Sofia Karina Crespo Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, great. So now I'm going to uh, share my screen just so we can uh, <coughs> refresh a little bit on uh, what we were doing last class, last Friday. Um. 
Okay, we were here. Okay, uh, last class we finished discussing uh, regarding the iPod, remember, which is an Apple device that is in decline, right? It's in the decline, it's decline stage. So with your partners, you dis uh, discussed uh, several products that were in the decline stage, a national product. And I remember we heard the, the presentation from Rodrigo, if I'm not wrong, Rodrigo and Sofia? Yes. Right? Yes, okay, uh-huh. And you guys were talking about the home phone line, right? The home phone line, which mm, almost no one has a home phone line unless you get a, for example, a Claro package, right? Which comes with the rest of the services. So um, let's see, I would like to, I would like at least two more groups to share their ideas. I don't know, I will take a volunteer if you still remember <laughs> the result or whatever you remember, okay? Just to finish with this idea. Do we have any volunteer? Okay, if there is no volunteer, I will choose someone. Okay, let's start with Danny. Danny, which product did you discuss? Um, it's the iPod is the discuss. Um, with my partner, the uh, strategy will happen is uh, uh, the the uh, co-branding. Uh, for um, to the uh, the imminent um, decline. Aha! Uh -huh. But do you remember when you were when you worked with your classmate and you needed to think? This is the example we had. The example of the iPod, but I gave you some time for you to practice with a classmate and talk about one product here in El Salvador that is in decline. This is something you did last Friday. I don't know if you remember what you discussed. Teacher, uh, my partner, Danny, uh, recommended identification product, the, the coffee, the coffee. In, the, in, coffee. Decline yeah, in, yeah. in the country. <laughs> okay, okay. Now you remember, Danny. <laughs> no, no, teacher. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, your partner, my my recording. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Gilberto, Gilberto reminded you about about the the product. So you talked about the coffee. Okay. Yes. So coffee, like the production of coffee is in decline. Yeah, and the other strategy mm -hmm. uh, for man, uh, the coffee in new market mm -hmm. and manufacturing, uh, mm -hmm. promote the products in, in the country. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, example, uh, the associates, uh, the partner, the other uh, company, the distribution of the products, uh, as con as like super selects. Okay. Okay. So you guys discussed about the strategies of like promoting more the product, right? Uh, yeah. Probably improving the manufacturing, right? In yes. Of coffee. Okay, that's an interesting, and it's a national product. It's a true national product, right? Uh, because, uh, well, if you remember history of El Salvador in terms of coffee, 
there were some years, right, that El Salvador's coffee was really popular and really like uh, there were a lot of um, international buyers for coffee, right? But um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the, example. the other benefit, direct, direct inner profit, mm -hmm. uh, great distribution, mm -hmm. and position and yourself in the market yes. in the country. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Let's give a clap to Danny and Gilberto. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Right. Okay. Uh, let's now see if there is someone else, another group who can share their discussion. Let me see. Um, well, lady, who did you work with? Do you remember? I think you worked with Julio, right? Yes, with Julio. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So which product did you discuss? Do you remember? Uh, about the iPod. Ah, okay. Only the iPod, no, no other product. No, okay. only the iPod. Ah, okay, okay. How about, I haven't asked Israel. Who did you work with, Israel? I worked with Andres. Ah, okay. What was your product? Uh, I really don't remember what we were talking about on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making you remember. <laughs> I'm making you. I think we were talking about, for example, the topic was the downturn product. Uh huh. The products in decline. Yes. Mm -hmm. In decline. Well, mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about uh, Boquita Diana. I remember that. Ah. And okay. Uh -huh. we, we were discussing with Andres that Boquita Diana, they have a new branch. Mm -hmm. and it's not a branch. They, they sell the product in a new way. For example, if you go to the Principito Park, uh -huh. you know what it is? Yes, yes. You can buy the tortillas nachos with ceviche, with the shrimps. The ceviche nachos. Uh, Sevi nachos, thank you. <laughs> I that is the Sevi nachos, and they taste good or not? Yes, they do, uh, but I think they are too expensive. <laughs> uh, really, how much it cost? Uh, I think they cost about three fifty, something like that. Um, especially the ones that include shrimp, because there are. Uh. I think they have only, for example, a tomato and like a salad, like a like a chirimol. Uh, oh yeah. But there are some others I had that have shrimp. Those are more expensive. Um, but yeah, we went one time. We went there just to try those because my husband wanted to try it. I don't really. I wasn't really interested, but. My husband said he he wanted to try them, and we went there. Um, I think it, it was good, but not. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> okay, so that was our product that we are talking about the declining of tortillas, nachos, and those so chips. Okay. So they they re brown no they how do you say resell in another way? I mean in another product. Well, they use it in another product and they combine it with, with shrimp and they are going, they are selling right now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they, let's say that that is an innovative strategy, right? Because it's, well, it's kind of a new product. Uh, they are using their product as a basis for creating a new product, basically um because they are mixing it with something else um 
So, okay, yes, that's a good example. But I, I'm not sure, what do you guys think, uh, the rest of you? Carlos, Rodrigo, uh, Sofia, all, all of you guys? Uh, what do you think? Do you actually think that Boquitas Diana is in decline? I think, yes, teacher. Really? Yes, I do. Because mm -hmm. uh, in this, I, I think actually uh, it lowered the quantity per package. And also I I sense the, the flavor of the old, uh, how do you say, churritos? <laughs> of the snacks or the chips? Of the snacks, of the, of the snacks, of the chips are are poor i think are poor okay. and the price goes goes high so uh -huh. I, I i think we uh, well in my case i i i bought in a uh, other 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 marks of okay. snacks okay okay so there we have a, a an opinion from a consumer right <laughs> mm -hmm. yes okay good well, I don't usually I don't usually um, buy those things, but so I don't know. I I, I was I, I I said probably no, no, it's not in decline, but well, you guys know more about me. I mean more than me about that. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, so yes, this is this was uh the wrap up of this activity that we had on Friday. And I know it's difficult to remember what we did <laughs> three days ago, but, um, and especially with all the events that happened this weekend, right? Like, for example, did you watch Miss Universe? Who oh, watched, yes. Who watched Miss Universe? Raise your hand. Who was checking who was the winner for Miss Universe? There were many, many people interested. Okay, Israel. <laughs> Who else was paying attention to the event? Lady. Okay. So you were entertained by Miss Universe. Let's see, Roberto Carlos. Okay, so yes, you you did. Of course, you wouldn't remember about what we did on cl in class, right? Because you were paying attention to Miss Universe. <laughs> okay, well, in this uh, in this page, we have the self assessment activity uh, for us to check if we are able to do uh, the if we were able to meet or to achieve the objective. Okay. So again, let's take a minute to check. Now I can suggest strategies for a business to deal with the decline of a product. Can you do it independently? Can you do it with occasional help? Or do you do it only with help? Roberto Carlos, go ahead. Did you have a question? O se le quedó la manita levantada. Se me quedó levantada, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, so that is our self-assessment. And now we are ready to start our unit two. Okay. Unit two, as you can see here, is focused on marketing. Okay, let's see if everybody remembers just to make sure we are connecting ideas. What was the focus of unit one, everybody? What was the topic for unit one? Uh, uh, is uh, uh, the products like, like the product life cycle is, is uh, after marketing, buying the product. Exactly, exactly. So the focus of unit one, thank you, Danny. The focus of unit one was the life cycle of a product, right? And now 
uh, we are entering unit two with marketing. Okay, so um, just so we, we start like connecting the ideas. Um, now, if you if you remember, uh, there was the first uh, stage of the life cycle of a product is introduction to the market, right? Introduction to the market. So here we're going to focus on what happens uh, when a product is introduced to the market, right? How it is promoted, etc. So that's what marketing is about. So what is the, our objective for today's class? Let's see, Gilberto, can you help me read the objective, please? Yes, identify the main elements on the marketing mix of a renowned national product service. Okay, so the main topic here is the marketing mix. Now, I would like you to tell me Everybody, what do you think of when you hear the word mix? Mix. Mm -hmm. okay. For example, mezcla the product. Okay. So, yes, in if you translate it, it's mezcla. But in English, what do you understand by mix? Mix. Mix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm brainstorming. Who can tell me what they understand by the word mix? Mm -hmm. Okay. We don't have any other answer. Well, um, we could say that it's a group or a set of elements, set of elements, group of elements, group of aspects, things it's that are right. considered. Yes, Julio? It's related uh, uh, to the four P's of the marketing. Example, product, price, place, promotion, person. Okay, okay. Yes, definitely. You are getting ahead, eh, Julio. <laughs> the four Ps, yes, we will talk about that. Um, okay, so let's start with the question. The question is here to our right. So we have the first question, what do customers want? from a service or product? What do you want from a service or product? Okay, for example, from Boquita Diana, let's talk about that example. What do you want from this product? I remember Rodrigo said something about the taste. Uh, a fresh flavor or a good taste of the product. Okay, very good, yes. And for example, what would you expect from a, from a cell phone company? Like you get a plan from a Figo. Word. Sorry, uh -huh. in a simple word, uh, satisfaction. Satisfaction, okay, customer satisfaction. Very good. So we have had two examples, right? Every product, for every product or service, we, we know what we want, right? as a customer. Okay, now let's see the second question. How is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Okay, this is a question for those of you who uh, are right now part of a company and who are promoting different products. So how is the product, for example, let me see. I'm going to ask someone in particular, Gabriela, what is the product or service that you promote in your company? And this conversation, right, teacher? 
No, no. Uh, right now we are here answering this question. So I would like you to tell me what is your product or service? In the activity, in the past activity. No, in your company. Do you work for a company or do you have a company? Oh, in my work. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the, uh, I don't know, the audiovisual Audio, product? Audiovisual, okay. Audiovisual product, okay. Yes. So if I ask you this question, how is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? How would you answer this question? Is the, the different, the competition, is the um the vision and because it's is a product christian product or uh -huh. it's a product of the church mm -hmm. um it's like the help to people uh, it's not um marketing for example is like um ONG. <laughs> NGO, an NGO. NGO, and is the product, um, community product. Community, uh, the neighborhood is like the, the people product. <laughs> I don't know to say the idea, but is is the, is a construction, uh, mm -hmm. The, the the neighborhood for the the other people so um, it's a com it's a product from yes. the community to the community yes teacher ah okay <laughs> i see good okay i like your your explanation in this case we can say that you don't you don't your product is not something you uh, sell right because it's something you make in order to share it with other people okay uh, so just for everybody to know um, Gabriela was talking about ONG ONG en español es organización no gubernamental and in English you say NGO non-governmental organization okay so you say NGO um, so, okay, now, uh, well, this is a question that I think everybody can think of. Uh, okay, so I work for this company. For example, I know Gilberto is uh, related, is like he, he's in the business of vegetables or, or no, um, spices, right? Spices. So, he has an answer for this question. What is my product different or what is my what is the difference between my product and other companies' products? Like the competition, right? Or in the case of Rodrigo, for example, like you work with raw material, right? As far as I remember. Yes, um, I work. Aha. Uh -huh. So probably in, in your case, you don't have a specific product, right? That you your company sells. Or... No, uh, because we have many, many, many products. Uh -huh. but, I, I don't have a specific. Uh -huh. But probably the, the in this case, we could talk about the quality of your raw materials. Like maybe... Uh... Yes, well, in our case, because it is a specific or maybe a target uh, market, uh, all the products, uh, either uh, for the industry, mm -hmm. uh, uh, all the products you can uh, catalog by premium or top. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. great. Well, so this is only, these questions, remember, are uh, for us to get into the, the mood or the idea of the topic, okay? So right now, we're going to start checking uh, the, we have the conversation. And in this case, this conversation 
focuses on uh, Diana and Tim. Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. And uh, we're going to read an excerpt from the interview. And well, in order to practice, we will take turns. So this is an interview from a, uh, I mean, this is the excerpt. An excerpt is like a part of something, okay? So in this case, it's we're, this is part of the interview, her job interview, because she is applying for a position in the marketing department, okay? So let's see how the, the conversation. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to look for two models right now. So I'm going to check here who is available. I think Julio can help us. And also, let's see, I'm looking for a lady. Lady, <laughs> lady, you are the lady. Okay, so. Uh, Julio, could you do the team part, please? Okay, Okay. Uh, let's start uh, with the most important part of the interview. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, the first question, what are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? Okay, lady? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to, and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's continue. That's right. Uh, target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, uh, second question, how uh, would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in pain, the marketing mix is about it, putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every, every aspect Aspect, aspect of your business plan. Okay, thank you, lady and Julio. My pleasure, Miss. Great. Okay, so before we, um, I, I will ask you to practice uh, with classmates. I'm going to go over each of the participations from the conversation. I'm going to read it all by myself. And I need you to please take notes mm. and practice um, mm. the, okay, give me one second, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, I had a, a daughter's question here, but, <laughs> okay, uh, so, I'm going to be reading the conversation, okay? And I need you to please uh, take note of those words that are difficult for you to pronounce, okay? Remember the tip I gave you last week about writing down the words as we hear them, okay? Just so we can practice the pronunciation later on, okay? So I'm going to read everything right now. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably fail. Inevitably. 
inevitably. I know this word may sound a little tricky or difficult. Okay, next. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay, so there we have it. And now before we get into the, the practice, I also want to check that we, um, I mean, that we are familiar with all the vocabulary or if there is any word that we are not familiar with, we can make a list and discuss the definition together, okay? So, I listen to you now. Please let me know which words are not familiar to you. Okay, I guess there is no word that is unfamiliar. Plainly. Aha, uh -huh. okay, plainly. Well, to put it plainly. Plainly is a synonym of simply. Plainly. Simply. Or also, a, um, let's see, clearly, mm -hmm. clearly or simply. Okay, anything else? Teacher, mm -hmm. when that say K element, the K element. Okay, in this case, uh, the word key in this context, Key, okay, if we put it together with elements, we could say important, important elements, okay? Something that is key is something important, okay? So, for example, when we say um, it is very Okay, for you to, to pass this class, it is key that you study or it is key that you practice after class if you want to have a good grade. Okay, so it, in this case, key is a synonym of important. Okay, what else? Gentlemen, do you have any question about vocabulary? Teacher, uh -huh. can you explain about the concept marketing mix? Yes, actually we're going to have, I think we have, um, let me see here, we have a video about it, okay? So we're gonna watch this video. Um, let me see. Okay, let's watch the video now and then we practice the activity, just so you have it more clear. Um, Roberto Carlos. Once everything's perfectly organized, I'll start working on my thesis. Rambling. 
Okay, here we have the video. And um, I don't know if I'm sharing the screen. Can you see my the YouTube screen? The video screen? No. No, teacher. Okay. Uh, one more, one second. Okay, so let me see. I think this video is short, just so we can have a better idea and then we practice the conversation. Okay, so at the end, we're going to check what the four P's are about, okay? So let's see. The marketing mix. It's a combination of the four P's, product, price, promotion, and place. When we talk about product, we mean things like the quality of the product, the design, the packaging it's sold in, and the brand. Price not only refers to the retail price, but also any discounts. Do you accept payment plans? Are there any specific credit terms if the customer has to borrow money to buy your product? Promotion deals with any advertising, personal selling. Are there salespeople, public relations, emails, anything that gets the word out? Place. Do you have a retail location or a storefront? Do you deliver? Can the product be downloaded? Basically, all distribution methods. Let's say you want to sell hamburgers. Great, but first you need to know your target market. Who are you going to sell hamburgers to? Well, hello there. Your target market will affect your four Ps. In this case, you'll want a very high-end hamburger. Consider a product that features truffles, which are super expensive stinky mushrooms. Oh, that sounds delightful. You're going to have to charge a lot because your cost will be high. $25. A good promotion might be an advertisement in Fancy Pants Magazine. And a perfect place to sell the hamburger would be at the Polo Club. Okay, but what if we have a different target market? What about this guy? Peace, man. This marketing mix won't work for him. Consider a vegetarian burger. You won't be able to charge much. You may even have to loan him money. Thanks, dude including good karma fries, will encourage him to spread the word. And selling them in a public park would be a good idea. Okay, but what about this target market? Again, we should adapt the marketing mix. He spends a lot of time at sea, so waterproof packaging would be a good idea. He doesn't have any cash, but has plenty of goats on board. <laughs> Who doesn't love a free Viking helmet? Ooh. And you'll need to deliver. So there you have it. The four P's make up the marketing mix. Product, price, promotion, and place. Okay, everyone. There we have the four P's. Product, price, promotion, and place. Um, and there is another key concept with these four P's. Beside the four P's or... These four P's need to be the perfect mix according to what kind of market? Aha. Uh -huh. In the video, we could see different types of people, right? And according to this, the type of people, that's how you change the price, the type of promotion, uh, the place, or even the, the product, what type of product, right? So this mix works together with, what is the other key concept that you could see? For example, the hippie guy, the, the old lady, the fancy old lady, the, 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 the Viking, they are different types of public. Uh huh. But there is a technical word that they used. 
different place they sell the product, teacher. Yes. The target market. Exactly, the target market. Mm -hmm. So they gave several examples, like, like three, three examples, right? They started talking about the pro. If the, imagine you create the hamburger and you want to sell it to uh this kind of people, like you know, fancy people, maybe rich people, of course, rich people. Um, and so you include something in the product, in this case, a hamburger is a something very popular. But if you include in this case, they were talking about um let me see if i can find it here for example they were talking about feature truffles i don't know if you are familiar with this is what what a truffle is in spanish is trufa which is something really really difficult to find and it is very expensive so for this person, this kind of person, right? Even though it is a hamburger, but they have something special, something that makes them special and expensive, right? So the price is gonna be expensive and so on. So they give you three examples for three different target markets. So depending on the target market, that's how the four piece mix is going to be, right? So the kind of product, the price, the um, uh, promotion, how you will do the promotion, and also how you will, uh, like the place where it's going to be sold, right? Delivered um, or at a physical building or online, etc. So do we have now clear at least the basic idea of the four piece and how they can be combined to reach your target market? Yes, teacher, I understand the idea about the marketing mix. Excellent, thank you. Yes, I think I, I really like this video because it's very visual and it's also very easy to follow, right? And you can see the different examples as well. Um, okay, very good. Well, now let's go back to our conversation. Okay. Uh, here we have an article. We're going to check that later. Right now, let's go back to our conversation here. Um, do you need me to repeat any of these words that maybe you didn't catch? The, the pronunciation? Do we have any doubts about the pronunciation of these words? Any of these words? Uh, no, DJ. Okay, good. So now I'm going to give you some time for you to practice. Let's see, um, let's see, let's see who is, okay, we have Gilberto, Sofia, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there are 10 of you who, are participating. So let's make five pairs. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to make the breakout rooms for you to practice. Okay. 
Okay, so let's take, okay, we also have a, the second activity before I, I get you into the rooms. Uh, so I'm going to give you time for you to do both things, practice the conversation and also discuss the answers to these questions. Number one, what does target your market mean? And number two, what does each of the four P's stand for? We already watched it in the video. And number three, how would you describe the term marketing mix? Okay, um, I'm gonna show you another video about the marketing mix, but right now let's try to describe it based on uh, what you understood from the from the first video. Okay, so let's take, let me see. Um, okay, we will take from five to seven minutes. Okay, so I'll see you in your rooms. Um, sería como el público meta. Ah, uh, what does target your market? It is uh, uh, the, the right place. And uh, so, uh, so the, the key element the so, so the business uh -huh. okay. did you practice let's the, practice the conversation first and then we check the questions yes teacher uh -huh. but the picture i don't i don't uh take up the a screen the, the... ah okay uh -huh. I take a picture in in one moment. Okay, thank you. Please, moment, Gabby. Thank you, Lizzie. <laughs> <Probably. laughs> okay, so once you have the presentation, the conversation, practice the conversation twice and then we focus on the questions. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll see you later. Bye teacher. <laughs> Will in every door fall. Fail. Uh, that's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four fears. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plenty, the marketing mix is about putting putting the right products in the right place and time with the right promotion at the right price to do this well 
you need to know every aspect in your business plan. Let's do it again. Now you start. Okay. Are you ready? Sí. Yes, please. Let's start with the most important part of the need pack on the activity. Here is the first question. We are the key element, the warranty, the SUSI, or the marketing mix. I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business no era la otra ahí está ahorita lo vemos proyecta next to the door ah ah las palabras ajá ajá por el world news forum for us Okay. Hello, have you practiced the conversation? Uh, Teacher, entendí que era hacer la actividad siguiente a la conversación. No, the two things. First, practice the conversation uh, and second, do the activity. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. ambas cosas. <laughs> yes, <laughs> both. Okay, both. Uh -huh. Do you have the manual with you? Sí. Okay. Yo no sé. Pero fíjese que se hace como muy, muy grande o muy, muy pequeño. Mire. Ah. Mire. Mm. Julio, puedes presentar. Es que, ay. Ahorita, 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 ahorita. Ahorita se lo estoy pasándolo a un editor. ¿Y por qué no lo descarga, Lady? Veo que lo está haciendo, lo está viendo desde el, la desde ah. el online. No lo tiene descargado. Fíjese que no lo había descargado, dicho. Uh -huh. Es más fácil de manejarlo así. Okay, ahorita mismo. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to go check another group and I'll be back, okay? Okay, thank you. Nice conversation. Hello, Roberto. You are alone? Yes, I am alone, but I practice the conversation. Conversation. Um, I tried the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the question. Yes, I, I think, I don't know why Mauricio is not like he's, he's present, but he hasn't said he's a listener. So I thought he was participating. Yeah, I think he's a listener. Uh -huh. Because he no answer when yes. you ask for present. That's true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you have any question related to the pronunciation or the meaning of any of the phrases or the words? No, teacher. Today is all is clear because I under understand when when you share the video about the marketing marketing mix. Okay. Great. Uh, I only only uh, I have a, a question. I mm -hmm. understand when when this topic is speak about target market is mm -hmm. about when 
when I need to know about the about the marketing, about the customer, about what one is is the needed about the about the customer. This is this is this is uh, I think this is about the the target market. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay. Um, yes. Target target is a synonym of objective. Goal. Objective or goal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So when we say a uh, target your market, it means that you need to really like study study your market, right? Uh, what they like, um, what they do, um, like many things about their behavior, also how much money they can spend on a product like yours, um, the lifestyle they have, uh, okay. as we could see in the video, right? There were yes. three different lifestyles yes so, yes that is important okay teacher thanks for your for mm -hmm. your help okay and then well the four p's what are the four p's okay uh, about the second question the four the four p's is when 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 mean about the product price promotion and place excellent mm -hmm. and then the third question how would you describe the term marketing mix okay in my in my opinion mm -hmm. in the term marketing mix is when uh i i need to know about the about the customer about the product uh mm -hmm. about the about the place Mm -hmm. where i need to i need to sell the sell the products okay very good great thank you okay so well um i'm gonna go check your classmates because some of them were still practicing uh probably in one or two minutes we are going back to the main room okay okay teacher mm -hmm. thanks for your help you're welcome. Let's see. <clears throat> Market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How will you define the market mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay. See. And that's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so you're done with the practice. Did you answer the questions? Did you discuss the questions? Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> okay. Just for all. <laughs> uh -huh. <Just> okay. <laughs> okay, good. Well, I'm just going to go check one of your, one pair of your classmates, and then we will go back to the main room, okay? Okay. So okay. Soon. Promotion product pain. Hello. Hi. Which question are you answering right now? Um, is that have you answered all the questions? Este, estas tres preguntas, ¿verdad, Miss? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what does target your market mean? Um, maybe 
como público meta? Ajá. Uh -huh. So when you target something, it means that you study it, okay? Then identify the the uh, potential client. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And by identify, again, is to study, right? You're going to check their behavior, their lifestyle, how much money they have that they can spend on a product like yours, etc. Okay, so target is basically that when you when you uh, identify it and you start like studying, okay, observe and study, analyze everything. Okay, Miss, and mm -hmm. the second question mm -hmm. is, what does each of the four PEs stand for? Mm -hmm. Come up price mm -hmm. uh, product Sold. promotion mm -hmm. place. place and place, place. yes mm -hmm. that's right the last one how would you describe the term marketing mix actually you have the answer in the conversation in the last part mm -hmm. right the term marketing mix Uh, podría ser como las diferentes estrategias mm -hmm. yeah basically the answer is here uh, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion at the right price so everything right <laughs> that's the marketing mix mm -hmm. So in order for your product to be successful, you need to make sure that the four P's are um, perfectly combined, let's say, perfectly miss, mixed, right? Is is a mix of the four P's. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because for example, imagine you have, imagine you are, you are promoting a product that people uh, in the US, for example, you are promoting a product that people usually um, use in the summer and you are promoting it in the in the winter, of course it doesn't match, right? So that's why it says the right product at the right place, the right time, etc. Right promotion, right price. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, yes, lady. Podría como dar un ejemplo, Miss. About the marketing mix. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let's say that you are a your product is. Um, Let's say a winter jacket, okay? Mm -hmm. A winter jacket. So, okay, product winter jacket. Now, your target market here is, for example, people who like to do ski, okay? Mm -hmm. They go to the mountain, so it's very cold. So in this case, this needs to be a really good, high quality, uh, jacket, right? Because they go to the mountains, it needs to be really good. Um, and because it's good, it's also expensive, right? And mm -hmm. we know that the skiing is not a, it's not a cheap sport. It's an expensive sport. So we can say that people who, who do skiing are able to pay this kind of jacket, right? Um, and then about the um, promotion, um, well, you need to promote it, of course, during winter time or like at the beginning of winter time, um, probably um, in places where they have this kind of products, like 
the ski resorts. Um, also, um, the well, over there we we focus on place and um, where they promote it. Um, also, they can be sold online or they could be sold at, for example, uh, the mall stores, okay? But um, yes, yeah, so that could be an example of, in this case, putting everything together, right? Place, time, promotion, the kind of people who are going to buy it, the price, right, that goes. Of course, price has to do with quality of the product and also uh, your target market, if they can pay it, right? If they have the money to pay it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, Tricia. Well, we need to go back to the main room right now because I guess your classmates are all all done. Okay, so see you there. See you. Hello, hello, we're back. Well, um, it took us some time because I was checking that everybody was done, that everybody was uh, practicing both the conversation and answering the questions. So it took me some time with some of you and that's why we, we took longer, okay? But I think everybody was able to participate and check the answers, right? So now uh, we're going to go over the questions. Let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to see who is here. And we're going to start with Israel. Okay, the question for you and your classmate. Your classmate is Gilberto, right? Yes, is Gilberto. Okay, very good. So the question is for you too. Whoever, or if you both want to, to answer, it's okay. So what was your answer to this question? What does target your market mean? Gilberto, do you want to respond? Uh, You uh, target your market. Uh, I think the target market it must define who you are selling. Okay, define who you are selling or what uh, you are selling. In your business, will in every in every file. Mm -hmm. Okay. Israel, do you want to complete the answer or contribute okay. to the answer? Uh, well, I'm agree with the answer because uh, according to the conversation, target your market means that you have to find your client that are will are willing to buy your product. Mm -hmm. Okay. We were talking with with Gilberto because he sells spices. Yes. Mm -hmm. Spices. So uh we were talking about who 
buys uh, the spices. Uh -huh. So he's, he said normally restaurant and, and everyone, but normally restaurants are the key, the key client for him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So yes, mm -hmm. we have the answer for this question here in the conversation. You must define who you are selling to, okay? And you need to figure out what they want. What is the meaning of figure out? Basically, to um to find or to realize, okay? Or to know, right? Discover, discover what they want, right? And how do you discover what someone wants? Well, you need to study them. This is what I was telling somebody else. Like when we say target something, when we target something, is because we study this, this something or someone, right? We analyze their behavior. So in this case, basically that's what it is, right? You need to analyze your market behavior, right? Uh, what they want. Um, okay, very good. Thank you. Let's give a clap to Gilberto and Israel. Everybody? Okay. Thank you. Now let's see question two. Um, let's ask. Uh, let's see. Okay. How about we ask Danny's group? Danny's. Danny and his partner. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, and uh, each of the cuatro players is uh, putting the product in the uh, right place in the uh, right time with the right promotion. In the, for example, is is uh, uh understand on the customer and uh, um your needs in uh, high quality product and the on the right uh, on the right product. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is for the, the, the question number two, right? The four Ps. So first P is for? Mm -hmm. The first P is for? Everybody? It is a product. 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 Price. Mm -hmm. Price. Price. Place. Place. Promotion. And promotion. And promotion. promotion, okay, those are the four P's. Now, the third question, I think you were kind of answering that already, eh, Danny, uh, but we're going to ask, in this case, um, Sofia or Rodrigo, who were working together, uh, what can they say about the third question? How would you describe the term marketing mix? Okay, Rodrigo have a, a resume, but in my case, I talk with him. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the way that you think uh, work on the for peace mm -hmm. uh, for your company. The better way that you put in order to work on the for peace. Okay, okay, very good. Are you going yes. to add something? Yes, indeed, yes, indeed teacher. Also, in in resume, if you if you can manage perfectly or at, at least uh, very much uh, the four piece, mm -hmm. that's you can do your business plan because in resume, uh, you know the, the four piece price, product, place, and promotion is the base of. Of, is the base is the base 
of all marketing. Okay. So that is the case. Your business plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. I like that expression, the, the business plan, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, just in case we are not, we are still not, not so clear about the marketing mix, I'm going to show you another very short video about it, just so we have like more information, okay? So here I have this, which is less than two minutes. Okay, so here, let me, let me share the screen. Okay, here we go. Okay, I would like you to tell me at the end of the video if you found something different or something new about this topic, okay? So let's watch. It's only one minute and 36 seconds. The, the marketing mix, also known as the four P's of marketing, refers to the four key elements of a marketing strategy. Product, price, place, and promotion. Paying attention to the four P's maximizes a business's chance of selling a product. Here's a breakdown of each P. Product. The item or service being sold that must also satisfy a customer need or desire. A successful product either fills a void in the marketplace or offers a unique experience that spikes demand. Price. The cost of the product that the consumer pays. Price should not be too high for the customer or too low for the business to profit and should reflect current market trends. Place. The location where the product can be purchased. This could be online, small shop, or global producers. Not every place is suitable for every product. For instance, a product targeted to seniors should probably not be marketed on TikTok. Promotion, the way a business informs the public about the product and how it fills their needs or desires. Sending the right message at the right time is the most important aspect of marketing, such as pizza delivery ads during football games. Okay, that's it. Okay, did we identify any new um, ideas in the video? Or not? She mentioned some terms that we we hadn't checked here. I don't know if you noticed there were a few terms that she mentioned that we did not check in here. Okay. No new ideas. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Which ideas did you check? Uh, for example, teacher, when uh, she she was talking in the video, for example, price. Uh, price is um, is about the cost of the products. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and the place is is where is where the product sell for example in location or in internet or in other place mm -hmm. in promotion is the different the different ways ways to inform to the customer about the about the product uh, in for example um if the product is a uh, cheaper or or expensive mm -hmm. about it. 
this is my opinion about the ideas in, in the video. Okay, Roberto, excellent. Yes, when when they were talking about price, for example, they mentioned profit, right? So the price needs to be uh, according to um, the customer's uh, possibilities to spend the money. And also it, it, it needs to include a, like a profit. What is the profit? Let me write it here in the chat. The word profit. Profit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is this uh, this is a word that I checked in the video that we hadn't uh, used in the conversation, right? Profit. Profit is what what you will get after all the process of promoting, making your product, et cetera, the profit is what you get the free, let's say the free money that you get, right? The benefit of all your process in the end, the net profit, right? Okay, very good. Well, um, now, we also have, in order to keep talking about this um, this topic, we also have this, this article. But before we do that, I would like to ask you, uh, well, I would like you to share a personal experience. Like, I don't know if any of you has ever tried to have like your own business or to create or sell a product, something that is your own business. And if you have considered the four Ps or if you didn't consider one of the four Ps and that's why you think your, your project or your company, your business failed, okay? Do you have any, any experience like that that you would like to share? Teacher. Yes, go ahead. In my opinion, I don't have any experience about, about the business, but I consider that information is very important to know because in the future uh, we we can we can have or, or we can get a, a business a business and this information is very important because we we can uh apply at a, a the apply. different business apply to, okay. to the to the different business this is my opinion is this information is very important and i consider the the biggest companies know about about this in, this information exactly yes basically this is like the fundamentals of marketing right uh, these four elements, that's why it says that they are key elements, right? Because these are the most basic uh, aspects that we need to consider if we want to start a business, right? So yes. that's why I'm asking everybody if they have an experience that they want to share, either if it is negative or positive, like if it was positive, if you applied these four aspects or if you knew about these aspects before or if it failed, the same, right? Why do you think it failed? Which of these aspects was not um, applied, etc. So yes. I'm listening. Let's see who would like to share. Thank you, Roberto, for sharing your, your opinion. Now let's see if, if somebody else has an experience to share. Rodrigo, I see your microphone is on. No, no, per <laughs> I, I'm hearing the, the, the partners. Okay, okay. I don't I don't have any opinion for now. I don't have any experience. Okay. 
let's see what about uh sofia do you have any experience no teacher any experience but i th i think that is important to to take uh, uh, take note about that because uh, if you have a uh, four piece mm -hmm. clear mm -hmm. you know you have a picture about your 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 pro target tar market target i mean that is important because you have um uh element to take in, take in count because you you have you you have an idea about the product but you mm -hmm. need to know what is your uh, product uh, um characteristic about your product but if this characteristic is uh then that your um customer or your future customer needs mm -hmm. okay and okay that's it yes that's it thank you well um i thought you guys well i don't know maybe some of you are, are being shy but i i know that probably more than one of you has like try to have their own business. I actually did once. I I tried to well I actually there there were three of us in this in this business. <laughs> um my a friend a friend of ours my husband and I were a we tried well actually not we we didn't try we started an English academy here in our neighborhood. And uh, we got the students, we got two groups of students, but I think the problem was was not, well, the problem was the, the time. It was not the right time uh, because all of us were busy with our full-time jobs. And so we didn't have enough time to dedicate to our business. And so that's why we had to, um, you know, we had to stop our business because we didn't have time to actually uh, work for it. And of course we didn't want to hire someone because that would mean that we needed to pay this person, right? And we were paying for the, for the rent in the place that the academy was. Um, we had to buy many things, many like furniture and everything that you need for this kind of business. And so, but yes, I think the time was not right uh, for us, but yes, I have my story of a failed business <laughs> that I, I, I wanted to share with you. And, I mean, we can find so many examples of this, right? Like it wasn't the right time, it wasn't the right promotion, or that the 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 person had like the business owner hadn't studied their target market very well. Remember, everything is is important as you're saying. And something that I liked from Roberto's opinion, for example, he said that. Maybe even you don't, you haven't done this yet, but maybe in the future, if you plan to have your own business, uh, consider these four elements, right? Uh, make sure that they are the right mix because that's why we yeah. say is the marketing mix because they need to match. Everything needs to match in order to, to be successful in this business, right? Okay, well, um, we're going to, and I'm, I'm sorry, I will have to make you stay for a few more minutes because of the time we, <clears throat> we missed at the beginning due to my technical issue. Um, so 
I am going to open this uh, this uh, article that we have here. Let me see. And in this case, <clears throat> we're going to discover more vocabulary. And also we're going to practice, <laughs> excuse me. We're going to practice reading aloud, okay? So this article is also about the marketing <clears throat> mix and uh, related to marketing strategy. Okay, so we have more information about the four Ps, some marketing tools. So this is like even more profound, so more specific information about uh, the four Ps. Okay, so you see here, for example, four Ps and four Cs. What does that mean? Okay, so let's start by reading aloud and then we go over some vocabulary, okay? So I'm going to read the title and then I'm going to ask someone to help me read aloud and I will be correcting the pronunciation, okay? So the title is The Marketing Mix in Marketing Strategy, Product, Price, Place, and Promotion. Okay, now we continue with um, let me see. Danny, let's just start with you. Danny, uh, help me please with this part, Danny. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. The marketing mix is the set of control controllers, the tactical marketing tools that a company uses to produce a desired response from its target market. It consists of everything that a company can do to influence demand for its product. It is also a tool to help marketing planning and execution. Okay, thank you. Now, Danny, let's practice some words that we mispronounced, okay? Let's start with this one. Con controllable. Control controllable. Repeat, please. Controllable. controllable. Excellent. Uh -huh. Yes. Next, tactical. 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 Mm -hmm. Tactical. Okay, very good. Let's continue here. Produce. 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 Excellent. Next, desired. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Desired response. Oh, okay. Yes, desired response. Response. Desired response. Okay. And let's continue with in this case, the last one, execution. 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 Mm -hmm. execution. 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 Okay, thank you, Danny. And okay, Danny, okay. I need you to give me a number. Let me see. From one to five, please. Uh, five. Five. Okay, I'm going to count five people from the list. Okay, number one is Gabriela, two, Gilberto, three, Israel, four, Julio, and five is Lady. Okay, Lady, you are next. Let's read this part, Lady, please. Okay. The marketing mix can be divided into four groups of variables commonly known as the four P's. Mm -hmm. Product, number one, product, the goods and or service offered by a company to its customers. Two, price, the amount of money paid by customers to purchase the product. 
-hmm. Number three, place or distribution. The activities that make the product available to consumers. Mm -hmm. Number four, promotion. The activities that communicate the products, features, and benefits and persuade customers to purchase the product. Okay, thank you. Now we will do our pronunciation practice. Um, let's just start with the word customers. 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 Mm -hmm. Then we continue with purchase. 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 Mm -hmm. Purchase. Purchase. Mm -hmm. Purchase. 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 Very good. Okay, next, distribution. Distribution. Mm -hmm. Next, available. Available. Okay, this is, next is consumers. Uh, consumers. Okay, consumers. perfect. Yes. Next is features. Features. Fe features. Mm -hmm. Next is persuade. 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 Okay, very good. And, okay, the next part is marketing tools. Okay, let's now check. In this case, if you notice, we have the four Ps, but in this case, here we, we were defining, right? This is the definition, but here we are talking about the tools. So, okay, lady, can you please give me another number from one to three? Uh, okay, uh, two. Two, okay, so in this case, I'm going to count, well, uh, Leticia, Mauricio are, are not participating, so the next one will be Roberto. Roberto. Hello, teacher. Hello, let's, let's read this part, please, about the tools. Okay, uh, marketing tools. Each of the four P's had is how tools to contribute to the marketing mix. Products, products, variety, quality, design, future, brand name, packaging, service. Mm -hmm. Price, list price, discount, allowance, payment period, credit terms, place, Channels, covers, assortment, location, inventory, transportation, logistic, promotion, are visiting, personal selling, sales promotion, public relation. Excellent, thank you. Now, do you remember in the first video that they were actually listing some of these tools? In the first video, we could see that every every P, for every P, they were a listing some of these things, okay? So, okay. Um, Roberto, let's practice the pronunciation for some of these words, okay? Let's start with, in this case, we start here. A, okay, so each of the four P's has its own, on. Um, um. Mm -hmm. Okay, on. Um. Now let's practice this one. Variety. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Now let's practice fast. Variety. Variety. Excellent. Bar okay. Now design. Design. Mm -hmm. Features. Feature. Mm -hmm. Packaging. Packaging. Okay. A allowance. Allowance. Mm -hmm. A, let's see. Coverage. Coverage. Mm -hmm. uh, logistics. Logistics. Mm -hmm. Next, advertising. 
advertising. Okay. And this one, public relations. Public relation. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Um, Roberto, give me one letter, please. Um, D. B. D. D. Okay. Let's see. Mm, I don't think we have anybody with that letter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Rodrigo. Have a good night. Yes, I'm going to, actually, we're going to start checking attendance now because I know it's it's almost time to go. So uh, we're going to stop here. And okay. um, tomorrow I will ask you for vocabulary about this, but right now let me stop sharing the screen and um, let's see. Okay, what it is, what it is. Okay, uh, Danny, Danny Anthony Siwensa, Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Um, wait a second. Okay, uh, Jose Andres Martinez Perez. I don't know if he's still here. No, I don't see him. He was here before. But not right now. Uh, let's see, Jose Israel Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Uh, Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz, he just left, but he was here the whole time. Present teacher, good night. Hi, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Let's see, Maria Leticia Realejeño. She's Present teacher. Here. Okay. Uh, Mauricio de Jesus Guruca Velasquez. I don't know, Mauricio, are you here or not? Do you have an answer to me? Um. Rebecca Maria Cardona, not here anymore. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando Danilo Sánchez, he's still here as a listener. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Present teacher, have a good night. Good night. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Bye, teacher. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and we will keep talking about marketing. Okay. Have a good night, okay. everybody. Have a good, good, night. Night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.